All right, this video comes to us from our new course, The Robotic Workshop, available at a link below here for 30% off. So if you like what you see, go ahead, check it out, and let's go ahead and roll those credits. All right, folks, so let's go ahead and start making some textures. Now, in your downloads for this lesson, you should find three different images. There should be a metallic three, a metallic brushed two, and a scratched metallic. Now, when we talk about textures, you can do a lot of different things with textures. Some are just images, like the ones we're going to do here. Some of them are pure black and white, but we already talked about what makes a good texture in another lesson. This one here, what we're going to do is we're going to start talking about how to actually make them. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first thing we're going to do, we're going to open a new work file. And I like to make all my textures square and I like to be at least 2000 by 2000. So you've got a plain white 2000 pixel file. And now what we're going to do, we're going to place, let's find the metallic three. We're going to drag that in. Now you see how it doesn't quite fill the square. You can do one of two things. You could either crop this so that it is square or edit undo. I'm just going to go ahead and select it and make it kind of match the square because quite frankly, it doesn't really matter to me in terms of whether or not it's exactly proportional. All right. Now, so you got this image. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to undock my layers panel so that I can show you what's up here. Now I am going to trim this a little bit because while I like this brown image right here, if I was using this as one area, what I know about I'm going to do with the robot. I don't want. So let's go ahead and crop this thing and let's go ahead and just shave a little bit off it. Cool. All right. And now we pull it back so that it consumes it. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. Now we've got the crop filter. You see that little image there on this image. We're going to go ahead and we're going to rasterize it. And now it's just one pixel layer. All right. Now we could do this a bunch of different ways. I'm going to show you how to do this using a black and white adjustment layer and to add a little bit more contrast. So I'm going to want this to maintain the color of this uh, sheet. So I start with my adjustment layer. And the first thing that I do here is I like to work in black and white. So I may get a little bit black and white. And now you can adjust these sliders, but it's not going to be black and white forever but I like to work in black and white to begin with to set my levels. Now to set your levels, come back to your adjustment and you can do this one of two ways. You can either put in a levels adjustment. Now, let me show you what's up here. We're going to stack this where it's the texture, the levels and the black and white. Now with the levels adjustment here, here's what we're gonna do. You click on this and you see the histogram that's produced we're going to increase the whites a little bit. We're going to darken the darks a little bit. All right. So you see what we did. We kind of brought this in and when we're good, we can go ahead and close it out. Now let's turn off our black and white and you'll see how that added a completely different amount of color to this texture. A levels adjustment goes a long way. And the reason I do a black and white is because it's easier for me to see when is enough enough with this levels adjustment? All right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a different way. I'm going to turn off the levels adjustment. Now it's still there because I might want it. And I'm going to show you a different way to get there. You can grab the brightness and contrast. Now you see here, it keeps taking these adjustment layers and nesting them inside one another. You don't want that. You want them to be stacked in a nice orderly row. So just pull and drag them out to here. And now the brightness and contrast works very similar, but you can adjust the overall brightness of the image to make it a little darker and we can reduce contrast or we can increase contrast. So it really gives you a little bit different control. Now let's see what happens with this. Turn off my black and white. That's a little bit dark, right? 
Now, you could make it really extreme. There's a brightness and a levels adjustment applied. That's actually super cool. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and file, save as. And I'm just going to put that down because I didn't intend to do that, but you never know. All right. Cool. I'm going to just go ahead and save that on my desktop. I'm going to play with that later. All right. So you can choose one method or the other. I personally like the levels adjustment. So I'm going to select the brightness. I'm going to delete. I'm going to select the black and white and I'm going to delete. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to export it as a JPEG with the highest quality possible. So it's a 4.72 megabyte file. And I'm going to call this metallic texture one. All right, good deal. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to file, save as, and I'm going to call this metallic texture one. And I'm going to put this down in your downloads so that you know the working file that I did. You've got the image that I had so that we can move forward in a very, very concise way. So let's go ahead and take a look at a different way to do it in another lesson. And we'll see you in the next one.